If you've played Battlefield Bad Company 2 online, chances are you've been killed by an AN-94 quite a few times. The AN-94 makes a reappearance in Battlefield 3 and it's one of the few guns that has burst fire enabled by default. It actually caused a few problems when recording this video because I'd forget to change the gun to full auto mode. I didn't want to fire in bursts obviously because it doesn't really tell you that much about the gun's recoil spread patterns when you're firing in bursts. That was pretty annoying. Um, so anyway, it's the fifth assault unlock you would get and it's got quite a, probably one of the lowest firing rates when firing uh, full auto. But it's also one of the fastest if you fire in bursts. It's quite, quite a bizarre gun, just in that aspect. Also, I noticed that it would kick upwards, like straight up, if you're aiming down the sight, and then it would kind of get to a point at the top, and then it would just settle there. And then it's, I don't know how to describe it, it's kind of like, it kind of makes a sort of like a tree or a mushroom cloud shape, if you're aiming down the sights, but it doesn't really seem to have a significant pattern when you're firing from the hip. It's just kind of a general increased spread and recall. But when you're aiming down the sides, it just kicks straight up. It doesn't seem to sway to the uh, sides, really. It's, it's quite surprising. Actually, it reminds me of the um, the M14 of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, um, a previous video I did. But anyway, I wouldn't really recommend using the foregrip because the gun doesn't seem to sway from side to side anyway. So it was just it's just really kind of a wasted attachment sort of slot. I would use something like the laser sight or even the heavy barrel might make a difference. If you choose to fire single shots or maybe in burst mode, the heavy barrel will be more beneficial. But if you're going to fire in full auto then I wouldn't use the heavy barrel obviously because of the increased recoil and spread as seen here. I can't help but notice that the gun does seem to look a lot like the G3. I don't know, I forgot that I was firing the AN-94. They seem to be both the same with their high recoil as well and their low rate of fire. I don't know, maybe that's just me looking into things a bit too deeply again. Using the bipod again, it actually didn't really make a difference. Because of the gun's high recoil, it still kicked up quite upwards. Quite significantly, sorry. It's the only gun that doesn't seem to benefit at all from the bipod, but again, maybe that's just me. To be honest, I would just avoid the bipod when using this gun. Unless you're going to fire single shots, but... Firing like this is probably more suited for a light machine gun. Anyway, with using a foregrip doesn't seem to make any difference when aiming down the sights as it doesn't sway from side to side. The suppressor increases the spread but doesn't do anything to the recoil. The laser sight decreases the spread but doesn't do anything to the recoil obviously. The heavy barrel increases both the recoil and the spread. And the bipod didn't actually make any difference whatsoever. Right, thanks for watching.